Well, I finally got my package from Gigaparts, and I'll show you what it is right after this. It's the ICOM ID5100 Alpha D-Star Radio. Been doing Fusion for quite a while and thought I'd try out D-Star. I'm not going to bore you with an unboxing video, and I'll just show you the parts right quick. The items you get, the main body, the control head, power cord, instruction manual on CD, microphone, this is the deluxe version, so they give you a magnetized mounting bracket and an extension cable. What you do not get is the main body's mounting bracket. I kind of find that strange. I don't know, maybe it's just another way for ICOM to get an extra 35 to 40 bucks out of you. On the main unit, you have the SD card slot, controller connector, and microphone connector. On the back side of the main unit, you have the PL259 antenna connector, cooling fan, data jack and jacks for speakers one and two and the power cord. A couple of things you're going to have to do before getting on the air on a D-Star repeater. One is registering your call sign to a gateway repeater and the other is entering your call sign into the radio. To enter your call sign into the radio just power on. And hit menu may have to scroll down a page or two, but you go to My Station, My Call Sign, and then press and hold the slot you want to put your call sign in for about one second, then hit Edit, then enter your call sign. Once you're done, enter. You're all set. One of the functions on here that I really like is for the screen brightening or brightness. Go to display. You can adjust your how bright you want it. And then they have backlight night time setting, which is really cool. It'll dim your screen at whatever time you decide and then it'll bring it back up to a brighter one during the day at whatever time you specify. And to adjust those, you just hit them and it brings it up. Right now I have mine set for 6.30 p.m. and to come back to a daytime brightness at 6 a.m. You can also do auto dimming. And you can adjust your contrast. And you can how you can display an incoming call sign. I'm leaving mine set at the default for now. To set the time in the radio, just hit menu. Go down to time set, date time, date, which is April 25th, 2018. And to set the time, I'm gonna set mine for UTC and it's currently 7.45 p.m. UTC. Now if you're setting it your home time, you can set the offset that you would need. For me, I'm minus seven hours. Auto power off. Set that for 30 minutes. Let's see what uh, firmware versions you have. Just go to menu. Scroll up or down to get to others. Go to information, version. This will tell you the different firmware. I've checked mine on the ICOM website and mine is all up to date. To get the GPS information and GPS position, you're just going to click on the satellite. Mine's blinking right now because it's trying to get a lock, but being that I'm in a, the bottom floor of a two-story stucco house, it's not likely to happen. Just press on the satellite, and that brings you up these two buttons, one for giving you your position, which mine has nothing in since I don't have a lock. and your GPS information. It'll show you the satellites and how many you're, you're connected to. Another way you can get the GPS information, go to menu, click on GPS, and again you'll see the GPS information and GPS position. To set the transmit power for the radio, all you have to do is where you see the little L, just push on that, you have your low, medium, or high, and it's five watt, 15 watt, and 50 watt. This radio has five operating modes. You have AM, AM narrow, FM, FM narrow, and DV. When you're on an FM 
channel like 2 meter 440 just hit the FM up here at the top and that will give you your DV, FM and FM narrow. When you're on one of the air bands just hit the AM and that will give you your AM and AM narrow. To enter an analog repeater into this radio is quite simple. First thing you do is make sure you're in VFO by using the V slash M button. Use the hand mic to enter your frequency. In this case it's 145220. Then to set your tone it automatically puts in the shift. For tone just push the function button. Go to tone. Select tone. And then to select what frequency of the PL tone you want hit menu. Dupe slash tone, repeater, free, repeater tone, in this case it's 103.5. Back, back out. Now to store it into a memory, go to function 1, MW, right to a new channel. Channel select, in this case we're going to use 15. Hit that. Enter the name. Hit enter. Then write, yes, gives you all the information for the channel, and then go to memory. Okay, now let's say you have a channel that you want to delete from your memory. All you have to do is go to menu, manage memory, memory channel, hit all, find the one you want to delete, press and hold for about a second, and you'll get this one to come up. Now you can either edit that channel, copy it to another location, or clear it out. We're going to clear, yes, and it's gone. Then back on out. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a video. And then check out these two videos.